Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look at an example which shows us how to write a program that calculates the sum and the average of five numbers which are actually entered from a keyboard. So, uh, let's begin. Let's first things first, let's declare five integers. So, int and one and two and three and four and five. There we go. So we're just declaring these variables and now we're gonna go ahead and prompt the user to enter them. So std colon colon c out and enter five integers. Yep, there we go. Separ uh, separated by space colon for aesthetic purposes and we're gonna go ahead and place a line terminator for example type in 10 space 20 space 30 space 40 etc okay so next up we will basically accept the values that the user gives us. Uh, std colon colon c in and oops and one and two uh, and three and four and and five and five makes me wonder why on earth did I actually include five numbers here instead of two or three or something like that. So this is just the input from the keyboard. Thus far, I've shown you how to enter one number from the keyboard, but hey, you can you can put them in a line like this and enter them one by one. No big deal. Next up, so we'll type in int sum equals n one plus n two plus n three plus and four plus and five. Okay, so this will be a variable sum, which will contain the sum of all of these numbers, obviously. So we will just add them one by one and place them into this variable. Again, I'm sorry if I'm explaining quite literally the most basic of things, but hey, uh, it did save from, the course has saved from beginner to advanced. If you feel like you know most of these things or that I'm boring you with these things, you can. I, I would advise you then just to skip down to the more advanced things which you are more interested in as the course is pretty much separated by subjects one after another. Anyway, so we have declared this variable. We have used plus. Plus is a binary operator for addition. Okay, so... Now let's let's do this the completely wrong way. We will type in float average and this will be equal sum divided by 5. So hey, why is this wrong? We have the sum and 5 is the number of integers we have added and in such a way we find the average. We take the sum and then we divide it by the number of integers we have included into that sum. Why is this wrong? Well, let me go ahead and show you. Uh, CD, C out, and let's go ahead and do this. Average value is colon, close it uh, average actually you can you can go ahead and do this manually on your calculators if you want as well and you will see that we will get we will most likely get different results so std colon colon and l okay so this is this is going to give us a wrong output why well i'll explain soon enough 
But as I said, if you just take a calculator and if you bear with me, you will see that my output will differ from yours. If I type in one, two, that's, okay, that's three. And if I type in four, that's seven. And if I type in six, that's, uh, that's 13. And if I type in, I don't know, four, that would be 20. No, <laughs> that would be 17. I'm so sorry. Uh, so the sum of these numbers is 17. One and two, that's three, four, that would be seven plus six, that's 13 plus four, that's 17. So 17 divided by five. That's not an, the result will definitely not be an integer. So if I press enter, huh, it says value is three. There's no way that the value is three. Three times, uh, well, you know, you, you, three times whatever is not gonna give you 17. Any integer, well, not whatever. Three times any integer will not give you 17. Three times five is 15. Three times six is 18 and no integer multiplied by three is going to give you 17. So what is going on here? Why are we getting this wrong result? Let's close this. So what we're doing here is integer division. Sum is an integer and all of these numbers are integers and five is an integer. So if we divide one integer by another integer, we will get a result that is also an integer, regardless of whether that is correct or not. Because if the answer was, I don't know, three point, doesn't matter, I don't know, let's say it's 3.23, again incorrect, but doesn't matter. Uh, integer division will yield an integer number. And what that means is that the decimal portions will get, trump will get truncated, they will be gone and only the integer will remain. Henceforth, we will receive a wrong result. Uh, when two integers are, are divided, the decimal part is truncated and the result is an integer. Anyway, how do we solve this? So instead of five, which is an int, we need to write 5.0f. F is for float or 5.f, no need for the zero. Anyway, so let's calculate the average correctly. Uh, we will now declare our variable like this. Well, not declare our variable, but just change the division number. So it's 5.0f, lowercase f, or we could, yeah. What this means is that we are dividing an integer by a floating point number, which will result in a floating point number result. So now we're gonna get a correct result, hopefully. And let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. I don't know, uh, let's one, two, three, four, Five. So this is like three and three, that's six and four, that's 10 and five. And uh, this is not good. Uh, I don't know, this is like, yeah, four again. So this is eight, this is three, that's 11 and two, that's 13 and one, that's 14. So if you press enter now, you will get the result 2.8. So now we are getting the correct result. We're getting the integer portion and we're getting the decimal portion as well, which means this is a floating point number. Excellent. So this is one of the most common mistakes that you can make. You divide two integers, you store them into a float, into a floating point number, but it doesn't matter. Integer division will yield another integer and you will get a mistake which will not be reported by the debugger. And it's a kind of a logical mistake. So you will be able, so it will be kind of difficult to actually find it. You need to be very careful when writing this number.
So anyway, this is the average value, and down below we can actually up. I think we should write it up above. Uh, std colon colon c out sum of these numbers is sum and L. Okay. Let's run it one more time. Ah, what now? Ah, right, 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 right. Okay, std colon colon. That's it. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. Today is just not my day or night or whatever. Okay, so enter five integers. Let's go, I don't know, three, four, five, one, seven. Okay, so some of these numbers is 20. Average value is four. There you go. So even though it's a floating point number, it will take integers and floating points as a result. So you do not necessarily need to have a decimal decimal space here at all because what three and four that's seven and seven that's 14 and one that's 15 and five that's 20 20 divided by five is four so this is completely correct anyway i am going to bid you farewell here and we're going to go ahead and continue in the follow-up tutorial